What's up everybody? Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am I Ruby, and today I want to be talking about Shadow of War. Uh, a few months ago, or a few weeks ago rather, uh, microtransactions got announced for the game and um, I don't really care about the game necessarily. I was never going to buy it, but the microtransactions in this game, I think if it spreads throughout the games industry, I think it means bad uh, bad signs. So basically what you get, uh, the microtransactions are in this game, are loot boxes and uh, things of that nature. So you're able to get double XP, um, extra monsters for your base and stuff like that. Like I'm not really invested in the in the game necessarily and you know, I could be wrong. It could be a great thing for Shadow of War in the future. But mainly why I feel so uh, so shitty about it really is other games with loot boxes I don't mind. Like for example in Overwatch, Halo 5, Rocket League, you know, things like this with cosmetic upgrades is uh, a lot of these games they add they keep on adding content for free. So in um you know Overwatch they're adding characters, maps, and all this uh, all this nice stuff for free. Whereas basically it's like loot boxes work as like a tip jar for putting uh, giving the developers money so they're able to keep the servers up, keep uh, making new content, putting in the games. Whereas a game like Shadow of War where it's just like they've got like a they've got like a loose multiplayer sort of thing where you're able to um. It's a bit like Pokemon Go in gyms, where you're able to go to other teams' bases and take them down. But apart from that, it's just mainly, you know, single player. And if this spreads, like, if other publishers see that this is working, that single player games, they can put loot boxes in and they can put double XP boosts in there, that also means they're also able to, like, sort of, like, design the game around it. Like, for example, if, like, to encourage double XP boosts, you know, you make the game really hard to level up. So people are going to be like really tempted to be to go for like a two dollar, you know, EXP boost, which is which is shit. Because like for for example, say the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild did this type of thing, where it's really hard to get decent weapons, but if you buy a loot box with you know all these guardian weapons in it, for example, people are going to be tempted to do that, <laughs> and I think it's just terrible because. You know, these loot boxes where it works as like a tip jar for the developers to keep keep making characters, keep making content, keep the servers going, that's fine. But, yeah, we'll see when the game comes out. Because, as I said, I, I wasn't going to get it anyway, but, like, anything like this in the future, I definitely will be avoiding. Anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think about the microtransactions in Shadow of War. And, uh, yeah, in the comments, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.